Hello, my name is Anya Przbaki, and today I will be doing a presentation on the art created by Jenny Holzer. Now, just to go over a short, brief introduction on who Jenny Holzer is, she is best known as a neoconceptual artist based out of Hoosick, New York. She, born in the 1950s, she started to finally grow viewers around the 1980s and is still making work today. Before experimenting with word art, which is what she primarily uses, Holzer aspired to be an abstract painter. Jenny Holzer attended Duke University and the University of Chicago before attending to Ohio University to receive her BFA. And now I'll just be going over a brief overview of her artwork in general. Um, Jenny Holzer is most known for her larger installations, which include billboards, electronic displays, and projections. As you can see with the picture on the right, this is one of her examples of a electronic display. This project is called Heap, and she made this in 2012. Mentioned previously, Holzer primarily works with text art. She explains that she only uses all capitalized letters to create a sort of urgency in her message, also seen to the picture on the right. Holzer's main message for her pieces often relate to sexism and feminism. She wants to throw heavy messages in her work because she believes that not all work should be necessarily happy or pretty. Holzer talks about her life growing up and the family dysfunction she dealt with in the process, which is shown in a large amount of her work in her quotes. She is also known to reuse quotes and display them in different installations to result in a grouping of quotes, which she eventually labels as one project. Now I'll be going over some specific pieces by Jenny Holzer that really intrigued me. This one is called Conjure, and she made this in 2021, so quite recently. The quote reads, your oldest fears are your worst ones. Conjure was projected onto a six-story building in Australia. This piece stuck to me specifically due to the message more than Holzer's unique touch with the hues and lighting as seen in Heap before. This quote resonated with me because I feel as if some people are living their lives around past choices and decisions they've made, including myself. But when we realize how different we become and mature every year, it's important to re realize that each decision you make should be a learning lesson and something that you should grow from. Articles online mention her work's correlation with activism and struggles different people go through. next piece I will be going over by Jenny Holzer is called Protect Protect that she made in 2007. This piece is just a portion of her installation labeled Protect Protect, again using strong phrases that tie into current events and issues in the media. The quote on this picture reads, abuse of power comes as no surprise. Personally, this piece stuck off to me right offhand because of its be beautiful purple and blue hues it's giving off. But after reading the quote, the actual meaning of the piece changed entirely for me. With all of the recent issues circulating in our media today with abuse of power, from employee harassment to government deviance, Holzer makes a point to display these issues in what I would say a beautiful way to lure the viewer in. And the next piece I'll be going over by Jenny Holzer is called Truism. And this was actually made in 1979. This was one of her first larger installations. And as you can see from the picture on the left, she has been using quotes and capitalized words for quite some time, showing her dedication to this specific type of art. This quote inspired me because I've always sided with what Holzer is trying to display in this specific quote. Though it was over 40 years ago when this work was displayed, it still fits with societal issues that are still happening today. This quote by Holzer is empowering to me because I feel the change she was trying to make to the people at this time. Though it was only displayed on a theater billboard on the street, Jenny Holzer obviously made a mark with this when she came out with this piece. Piece four by Jenny Holzer is actually also truism, made in 1979. With Holzer, with what Holzer does is she makes a compilation of quotes, like I mentioned previously, and does a variety of different exhibitions, displaying these messages in different ways each time. The photo shown to the right is an example of her displaying her conflicting messages in a whole different way from the photo on the last slide. As you can see, this is a theater billboard, and this is a whole different electronic display that she's done. 
And truism quotes such as confusing yourself is a way to stay honest. Children are the hope of the future and enjoy yourself because you can't change anything anyway are displayed on these electronic signs and are a part of the truism project. I found it very interesting that Holzer recycles her messages, giving them the same power as they always have. It is important to keep resurfacing a problem, especially since Holzer is a huge advocate for good change. And after going through her specific arts and projects, I wanted to wrap up with some other information about Jenny Holzer. She has obviously grabbed the attention of thousands of people around the world with her art, and this is exactly what she is trying to aim for. Holzer has mentioned in her interviews that she believes all her work should be easily accessible without the requirement of buying a ticket to see any of her work. Since her work is associated with several public controversies, she wants her message to be seen by all, which is why she enjoys projecting on buildings for all to see. She has explored the difference of language in both communication and in art, and shown, how, shown people how successful she can be while doing so. Often inspired by violence and war, sexism, feminism, social issues, self-image, and so much more, her work has inspired others to be an advocate for her work and the message it holds. And that is a wrap on my presentation about Jenny Holzer. Here are my resources, and thank you for watching.